Welcome back from the Borgata Poker Open in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Now it's pretty early in the morning now. The players have had a very long day. They had to play down the 27 players and nobody wanted to go out 28th. Mike Matisau was among those that just had to hang on until day four. Here I am, my normal 310. I've been between 250 and 330 for like five hours. I pick up a blind once every like millennium and uh, I never have a playable hand yet. I'm playing great and still in. I mean, anything. This is like I've just been grinding for hours. Can't make any kind of move. Bernard Brock was eliminated in 28th place when Brian Straw's aces held up against his kings. Well, uh, that guy was at my table a couple of times throughout the course of the day, and he kept making like huge raises pre-flop, like uh, with small blinds. He would raise forty thousand, fifty thousand, like he was way over raising pots. And he showed every time, every time he had kings of raises. I mean, the guy didn't play many hands. And when the guy, you know, when the guy came in raising, when he, he raised it to sixty-five thousand, you know, the, the only two cards I'm looking for is two aces, you know, and uh, they were there and. Uh, I re-raised them, and luckily at Kings, I, my aces held up. It was just, you know, just one of them lucky hands. I mean, it, anybody could have won it. No it's particular. It's about time. It's quarter to one here. You ready to get some sleep? I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. But they run a good tournament here at the Brigada. Um, they did what they could. It took a long time to get, you know, that bubble player out. But uh, we're gonna get some sleep, and hopefully we'll have some luck tomorrow. So how many chips are you gonna start tomorrow with? I got about a million. I got a million. Uh, like I said. A lot of good players left. Hopefully, uh, I can get lucky tomorrow and uh, do something, make the final table maybe. As the 28th player was eliminated from the Borgata Poker Open, Sang Wang, who was seated at another table, was involved in a pretty big pot. I faced a small blind. I don't know his last name, but his name's John, and um, he made a pretty decent sized bet. And the and I ha I was in the big blind with uh, I think uh, pocket fives. No, I think I, I know pocket fives. <laughs> Well, anyway, um, I played with him on the first table. I know he was a really aggressive player, so I knew he could put some moves on me. So I raised him, and he re-raised me, and pretty much I went over. Uh, he went over top of me after I raised him, and that was the end of it, really. And um, you didn't make that call. No, I didn't make that call. I, sh I, I was thinking about call calling, but. It would have made my stack half of what it, what I have, which was uh, right now I'm at 540, but it would have made me at 240 or something mm -hmm. like that. And it's I was hard to make a call like that with, with such fives a small and pair. I, you know, sixes, sevens. Yeah, absolutely, and we still got to see the flop, the turn, and the river. So yeah, we'll be back tomorrow to deliver the day four action directly to you from the Borgata. Tomorrow they're going to play down the six players. It should be a lot of fun. Make sure to keep track of the action on CardPlayer.com. I'm Lizzie Harrison.